We're eating that self pity chat. We're eating that self pity chat. Not even that self pity? Oh my god. If I don't get her at 74, I'm quitting the game. It's official. I'm, I'm quitting the video game. YouTube! Hi guys, I'm currently live at twitch.tv slash kittycassy and pretty much every day. So do come join us. We're having a good time here. Everybody's super handsome and super smart. Uh, yeah, today we are going to go for our pools because the new banner just came out. I was talking about how I am still incredibly torn regarding who to pull for. Um, I, um, so the thing is that Lingsha is obviously out. She's a abundance healer that works very well with break teams, but she also has a lot of cleanse. It's not like she's only a Gallagher quote-unquote upgrade, right? She, she is not only that. She also has a summon. She has a lot of attack. She has a lot of um, AoE. She has a lot of, uh, of break damage. Her, she has summons, so we just got a recent set that works with summons as well. So there's the possibility that we are going toward a new playstyle with summon characters. And she might fit into that in the future. So I think she has a lot of potential future value, right? That said, we also have the follow-up team support or like sub dps support character right topaz is incredibly powerful topaz and numbi to be specific um she's very strong she puts debuff on the enemy that makes it so you deal more damage with follow-up attack that kind of stuff it's absolutely amazing she becomes bonkers with like e1 s1 that kind of stuff and um the so she's very good now that said she's been out for a very long time at this point right and there is the possibility that maybe we get another character that's going to replace her in the future. I'm not too sure that's going to be the case because we have a lot of uh, IPC character. I feel like they probably want to make all of them kind of work together, right? So I'm not sure she's going to be outclassed right away. And in the meantime, she's very, very good. And obviously, her light cone is always going to be very strong as well. As well, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's kind of... Eh, she, she definitely has some value, right? Now, the problem here is that when I have to pick between the two, it's really tough. Because Topaz, I really like her. I think she's so pretty. Numbi is adorable. But Lingsha, I think I'm going to have to go for Lingsha. Especially because that way I can definitely get rid of Gallagher. And uh, so I can have like a hot team. Just a, a hot team. Because Gallagher is just not my type. And also he's 13 years old. We want adults in our team. So it is what it is. Uh, that said, in terms of light cones, I think her light cone is actually bananas. Her light cone literally makes her a Neolithic character. Literally a Neolithic character. So she gets 60 break effect, which is absolutely bananas. And then, uh, after we use ultimate to attack enemies, target and flip the target with wolf free state lasting for two turns. When Wolf free enemy target takes 10% increased damage, the effect of increasing damage taken is initially boosted by 8% of the worst current break effect. So potentially you have a debuff on the enemy for two turns that increase damage taken by 18%, which is crazy. Now, the thing is that this light cone is... Um, for support character, it doesn't really work that well outside of her and maybe Gallagher. It could... Is Luch has ultimate a, an attack? I think it is, so it could work. Uh, but right now, we don't have that many characters that actually have an ulti that deals damage to enemies, right? We just don't have that many. So, like, Aventurine is obviously not Abundance. Huo Huo is energy for the team. But I think one of the ways to, quote-unquote, power creep healers, because at some point, you, 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 your healing ability... Like, if you're dying, it's not really because your healer is not good enough. It's probably because your build is not good enough. Let's be real. Um, to power creep, it's going to be, well, more enemy applies debuff, so you want some cleanse, right? That's why some characters like Bailu um, are, are less effective, right? Because they can't effectively cleanse uh, that easily. Um, here, 
she is way better than Gallagher because Gallagher can only cleanse one ally with his skill. She cleanses every time Fuyan attacks, which is crazy. And she can force double cleanse with the ultimate as well. Um, her healing is obviously very good, but I think the value is in the cleanse and potentially on the debuff they can apply. In her case, it's going to be the defog with the ultimate. And also the amount of damage she has. Um, either damage or, you know, um, toughness break, right? And because she's a healer that actually attacks with every single of her abilities, that means that she can heal while dealing toughness break, which is incredibly valuable, right? Um, so I think there is a good chance that if they release more healing characters, more abundance characters, they will also have the ability to attack enemies. So maybe this Lycon is going to have some future value. Now, specifically for Topaz's Lycon, I think uh, it's a hunt Lycon. It increases your crit rate and your follow-up attack by 30%. Uh, and also, it applies Tame, which means that um, you have crit damage uh, increase against the enemy with Tame, right? This is very good. This is a hunt like cone. This is specifically good for follow-up characters. But even if you're not a follow-up character, like, yes, you don't have the increased 30% damage, but this is still a flat-out, unconditional 18% crit. And on top of it, it does buff the crit damage of your entire team, which is amazing, right? So this light cone is just top tier. It's going to be at least good on any hunt character. And I don't think follow-up characters are going to disappear from the game, right? There's always going to be new follow-up characters. This light cone is bananas. And I don't think it's ever going to be, uh, like, bad, right? Maybe there's going to be a power creep in the future, but for now... This is always going to be valuable, in my opinion. And even this our power creep, it's not like this is bad, right? By itself, it's still very good. And I think pulling for Lyco, not everybody is down to pull for Lyco. People tend to want to get, like, you know, characters. So this is great value overall for your account. So, all of that said, we are going to be pulling. So in terms of how much pulls do I have, I did get the daily, the week, monthly stuff since it re re reset. I do have 19 pools here available on top of the 85 I have here. I have here. Did I say 19? So that means I have a total of what? Uh, 90, 101 pools. Okay, we can do this, right chat? Um, I mean, this is a pretty nice place. Oh, you know where we're gonna go? She's a healer. Um, we're gonna go where the blind lady was. I think that's a good place. The uh, there was a lady of the Sanctus Medicus, um, that was here, the blonde lady that ended up being like kind of a traitor or whatever. I think this pavilion right here is a lovely place. I could definitely see Linksha sitting here playing the Kodo and healing people, like just people queuing up. So I think this is the right place to, to pull for Linksha. There you go. Okay, we gotta believe chat. Let's see the details here. What's my record? I have four pity. For freaking pity. Okay. <laughs> so if we lose the 50 50, it's basically cook over chat. Okay, let's go. Early link shot. Also, uh, as a quick note, all the characters here, right there, the four star, are all bad. The Queen Aphon is okay. Misha has some decent amount of icebreak, but let's be real, nobody wants to play Misha. Um, and I mean, we have the, the premium free to play healer, Natasha, who's just not good anymore. Uh, in terms of light cone here, uh, nothing super exciting here. Shared feelings, all right. Shadow by night, eh, planet around the yeah, it's nothing super incredibly. That's kind of unfortunate. It's like those banners don't have good four stars, in my opinion, uh, which is a little bit of a womp womp. Like, Lingsha having, like, Gallagher in the banner would have been way better, because that way, if you don't like Lingsha, actually, you get a character that can work instead of Lingsha. That would have been good. And here, in terms of Lycone, having something like the po post-op conversation would have been great, uh, because it is actually very, very good for Lingsha. So if you don't have superimposition, that would have been a good way to go for it. That's not the case. It is what it is. Womp womp. Everybody's crying. Let's pull. Okay, that's not an early 5-star.
Okay, we had 14 pity. Natasha, wait, did I not have Natasha C6? Okay, I do have Misha C6 though. All right. Two Natasha, three? Do you just get three four star in a single four four star in a single tag pool? Yo, that's actually banana. <laughs> I mean, it, it's not like Lily Pichu or ba I don't remember who. Oh wait, it was the girl that said one pump. Is it Bao? Bao actually got three signature weapon, uh, showkeeper signature weapon in a single time pool. Actually, bananas. Okay, good stuff. We got two. Eight alone for Natasha. We, we love to see it. All right, 24 pity. Let's go. Ah, it's still at the base door, Jet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah. Come on, Pom Pom. Don't be like that. Don't be a nerd. Come on, Pom Pom. I need to stop screaming. I'm going to hurt my throat again. All right. Hey, good Nathan. Oh, I didn't have her C6. Okay, that's cool. Based. Based, based Gwynaphon Adolon, hell yeah. Two Gwynaphon, let's go, Lil Gi, baby. Okay, 34, okay, okay. I think the problem here is that the game is not convinced. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, game darling. Hello, Storel. I think you don't want Kitty to be disappointed, do you now? <laughs> That's what I thought. So from now on, you're gonna get me all the five-star characters I want. All right, let's go. It didn't work! But I really tried, chat. I guess it didn't work. Ban. Man, oh man. All right, what are we getting? Was that 34? I feel like it was 34. I already forgot. I can't, I can't, I can't remember that shit. You think I got a big brain? No, my brain is the smallest. Another Natasha. Oh, we got a C6 now. We got 34 now. Okay, 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 okay. 44, baby. Come on, let's go. Ma, we're gonna get in. Uh, if we're not getting an early one, I better get a. I better win the 50 50. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Another Natasha. Okay, she'll always see six. You think it's a, I, you think I'm getting her at 54? All right, I believe you. This stream is now officially sponsored by Shiro Yuki 15 with XX on both sides. And according to them, we are getting Linksha in this 10 pool. If I don't, you owe me a 10 pool. Confirmed. You owe me a 10 pool. All right. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, <clears throat> I feel sad. Y you at least owe me a prime sub, okay? Any primers out there? Give me your prime sub. Man. Also, I so we did get Natasha C6 as well as Gwynaphon C6, which is nice. We appreciate those. Okay, 64. Come on. We're hitting that self-pity chat. We're eating that self-pity chat. Not even that self-pity? Oh my god! If I don't get her at 74, I'm quitting the game. It's official. I'm I'm quitting the video game. Man, everything's rough. Everything's rough, chat. Another Gwynaphon? Okay. Why do I keep going to hard pity lately? I mean, obviously, because that's how fucking... Uh, you know... Oh god... We are at 74. Math, please do your job, math. Start mathing right away. Oh my god! I have to go to 80 pools? What is going on? If I hurt you in a past life video game, what the freak? Oh my god. And the shirt is so cute. Oh, look at this Lycoon. It's adorable. I love this Lycoon. It's so cute. Okay, well, um, 
Is the guaranteed 80 or 90 in this game? The guaranteed is 90. So I could pull 10 and still not get her. Oh, finally! Okay, please. We gotta win that 50 50. We've got to win that 50 50. I refuse to believe we could lose that 50 50. That was 84. That was 84. Okay, okay. 75. 76. 77. 78! Yes! Yes! Winners keep winning! We didn't lose the 50 50 baby! Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. We got our wife, but I wish I had gotten her early so I could have tried to pull for Topaz. But I think, chat, unfortunately, I think we can't go for Topaz. It is what it is. Now, let me check my Eidolons real quick here. Boop. Uh, in crystal level. Stackable fire keys can't buy one. That's great, actually. Uh, here we get some levels. What does a C6 do? Basic attack additionally deal physical damage equal to 40% of her max HP. Okay, some damage on her. And there she is. There we have her. So we're gonna la we're gonna have to level her up. Um, I don't think I'll be able to ascend her that much because I do believe that she got a new material that wasn't available before. Um, so we'll be a little bit stuck. We're gonna go and farm for that afterward, though. Oh no! She needs the Raging Heart! Okay, we're good. We're good, chat. We're good. I got confused. So we can actually... I, I did pre-farm for that shit. I, I, I don't know. I think I'm thinking of Julonen. Julonen has a boss that you can't pre-farm for her. So we are actually able to get her to level 80 right away, which is awesome, obviously. Um, I don't think... I did pre-farm a little bit for traces, but it's not gonna be perfect. In terms of Lycone, uh, what we do want... Um, I think the best choice is basically going to be the post-op conversation. The reason why, essentially, is that uh, she basically needs 16% energy regen. Uh, that's basically what she needs. Um, to, to, to function properly. Um, and if you have the post-op conversation at S5, you right away get 16% regen, which means that you can then use a different um, plan ornament. No, I'm not going for a signature web, uh, light cones, no. Um, then, apart from that, I mean, what is real can be good if you... Um, if you want to go for, like, you know, more of a break effect... Uh, aspect to her that's obviously gonna be decent um quid pro quo is obviously very good i still haven't built it personally but that is definitely an option uh shared feeling is good if you specifically want to go for a lot of healing if you feel like that's necessary it also gives energy to all your team so this is definitely not a bad thing um but yeah that's pretty much it i do have post-op conversation s5 and i have another one s3 um, then this is a bit underwhelming in my opinion. Uh, warm shortens cold, max HP increase, eh, it's kind of whatever in my opinion. So here, I'm definitely gonna go for this one. I doesn't mean I have to take it away from Huo Huo, but I can always, like, make it work. Either I'll build my other post up, or I'm gonna put shared filling on Huo Huo, I think. I haven't fully decided, I haven't fully decided, but the, yeah, there's, uh, there's definitely options here. Um... But, uh, yeah, all good. Absolutely all good. Especially because here you get, like, outgoing healing increasing after you use your ultimate. Um, and this is very good because the ultimate obviously does apply some heal. Uh, so I think this is basically the best option. I'm going to equip this, and then from here I'm going to, like, change it up. And equip that so that Hoho already has that. So this is a fantastic option for her. Obviously, I, I kind of talked about some of the alternatives. Uh, they do exist. I, I think overall, you probably more uh, like going for um, energy regen like cone, I think is a fantastic option, basically. Um, now, in terms of 
in terms of um in terms of relics uh relics wise she is pre she actually has so many options right if you want to play her in super break team uh specifically you can definitely go for the iron cavalry set right this set essentially now outside of that you can pretty much go for two pieces two pieces of anything uh, you can go four pieces, pass by a wandering cloud, which is the the dedicated quote unquote dedicated healer set, right? Which is gonna be do I have it somewhere? Where is it? Do I not have good pieces of it? There it is. So this is outgoing healing. It also gives you like one skill point. Ada ada. Um, so this is okay. Um, otherwise, um, I mean, to be fair, she can be pretty SP positive in general. So it's not absolutely necessary to get a skill point. Uh, but otherwise, you can go like two-piece um, messenger for the speed bonuses. Uh, so that's going to be this one, like the 6% speed, right? This is pretty good. So you can go like two-piece speed, two-piece healing effect. You can go two-piece speed, two-piece any of the break effect p uh, sets. So, like, either C for Shooting Meteor, or uh, Cavalry, or uh, Watchmaker, all of those work. You can also go, you know, some rain rainbow pieces. I always say it's better to have very good rainbow pieces than trying to go for set bonuses, right? So, there are definitely some options. If you really want to, you can also go for pieces... Um, I'd probably say four pieces um, uh, Thief here. It does regenerate some energy that you are going to need. And then when it comes to planner ornaments, if you don't have a post-op, if you don't have 16% uh, energy regen from a light code, essentially, um, if you end up with only like a 10% a or something like that because you don't have max super superimposition and stuff like that, you can definitely go for a energy regen set. So you can go for Vomwak. You can go for Pinaconi, which is going to be here, right? It's energy regen. Or you can go for the new set, which is uh, Lushaka, right? Now, if you're not in need of energy regen, you can definitely go for something like... Um, like Fleet of the Ageless is going to be fine, right? Uh, because Fleet of the Ageless, if you look at it, um, here it is going to increase your HP and also the attack of all your team. And uh, I do believe she scales us off attack. So that's going to also increase her own healing, obviously, which is fantastic. So those are pretty much the option. But if you want, you can obviously go for some broken kill and stuff like that. If you want to focus on break team, you can go for Calpagni if you want. Um, that's an option, right? Now... In terms of um, what you want in terms of stat, body piece, outgoing healing, boots, speed, planner sphere, uh, attack percentage, right? Uh, planner rope, uh, link rope, whatever it's called. Um, you want either energy regen or break effects. So if you already have good enough energy regen, like in my case, I'm going to go for break effects. So that's the idea. Now, in terms of how much break effect you want, you want at least 100%. If you have her signature light cone, you want 150% for the extra buff. And um, for speed purposes, just as much as you can. At the very least, 134, uh, as always. But if you can go higher, if you can go like 150, 151, or whatever, uh, you can definitely go for very, very high. Now, for the rest of her abilities, for traces-wise, obviously, you want all the traces. Um, I think in terms of priority, you probably want to increase her uh, ultimate first because that's going to make her B-Fog stronger. And then outside of that, uh, her talent is going to be very good. Uh, that's going to be the follow-up attack of your little Fuyuan. Uh, increased damage, all of that good, good, as well as the healing. You heal a lot just from Fuyuan, so I think this is a good idea to buff. Um, and then you probably want to level up your skill, um, which is just going to be a bit more healing and damage, which is not like the most important thing, but it's definitely that one. 
And basic attack if you really want to put a little bit of things here. Um, there we go. So that's pretty much everything I would say. And uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty easy peasy in terms of team. Um, obviously, she works very well with a uh, super break team. So a character like... Um, she can completely replace Gallagher in the Firefly team, right? But she's also gonna work pretty well in full up team composition. So she can work with Feishao. She can work with like Dr. Ratio, uh, that kind of stuff. And obviously, um, strong support for her are gonna be support that buff break effect. So Harmony MC, Run May, those kind of characters. That's pretty much everything I can really tell you uh, in terms of uh, team she's gonna fit in. That said, for Feisho specifically, I do think that a character like uh, Aventurine is probably gonna be still best in slot. But if you don't have Aventurine, that's definitely a very, very, very strong option. So there you go. That's kind of my uh, my guide. Uh, I could say my breakdown of how to build her. And uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was, like, subscribe, comment down here. And I'll see you on Twitch or on my next YouTube video. Bye! <laughs>